When it comes to age, a lot of people think that players don't have a long career because of a degradation of reaction speed or play pattern and basically just the ability to adapt to the game. But I think this is largely false because there are plenty of problems with growing a career as an esports player and just beginning now esports is becoming a viable career for those that are actually good at the game or previously have been good at the game and are now uh, extending their career even further so if you look at first uh, one player marin he is 26 years old a league of legends player he's a season 5 world champion and then he got third in season 7 lck summer where they took Samsung Galaxy to five games. And this player is one of the older players within the League of Legends scene, along with Ambition, who is 25 years old, and he just won the Season 7 World Championship. Now, if you look at the game and when it was released, this impacts the age difference of other game communities and other esports. And that has a direct relation to how old these players are and how long their careers have been going or extend to. Now, if you look into the Counter-Strike world, there's the player Neo. He is 30 years old. That's four or five years older than Marin and Ambition. And it's because the game has been out longer than League of Legends has because he has played Counter-Strike 1.6 professionally and then shifted over into Counter-Strike Go and Counter-Strike Source um, was also a stint of professional play within the Counter-Strike scene. Now this Neo guy along with Taj and or Taz and uh, Pasha, Neo has won at least one major every year since 2006. Now, this is counting big tournaments like WCG or CPL or ESWC and DreamHack and Counter-Strike 1.6 since Valve didn't really sponsor tournaments back in the day. So it's very clear to see that Neo has been at the top of the food chain for a very, very long time on Virtus Pro with, uh, with Taz and Pasha. Now, Counter-Strike is a very reaction intensive game and you have to have your your wits about you in order to be actually good at the game and uh, Aiming has to do a lot with reaction speed as well too because people are peeking around a corner or you know people are doing things very unexpected because it's a very fast-paced game and people that say reaction speed is slowly degrading over time so when these players turn 25 or, or 26 suddenly they're slower than their 18 year old counterparts and i just don't think it's true when you have players like neo and taz and pasha that are still at the very top of the game and sure neo isn't necessarily known for having stellar aim or uh, stellar reaction speed or, or doing crazy shots he's more of a, a tactically smart player but that's because he's played the game long enough that he doesn't necessarily need to rely on having those crazy shots in order to win the round so he's adopted this different play style that has a better stability and neo along with virtus pro are kind of like the van guard in order to uh, be able to say that you are a good team they are the probably uh, lowest portion of the good teams at least remaining now to where you have to beat them in order to say that you are a good team because they're they're kind of like a uh, uh, a right or an initiation into the higher echelons of counter-strike uh, global offensive and then you have uh, the player Tokido, uh, who is 32 years old from uh, Echo Fox, and he is a Street Fighter player. Now, he just recently got second place in Capcom Cup uh, 2017, and he got first at Evo. Now, <laughs> fighting games are very reaction-based too, and sure, you have to plan out exactly what you're going to do, but it's a very fast paced game in and of itself. So to say that Tokido is suddenly worse than his younger counterparts, I think is completely false. So the main problem of why there isn't these older figures within the esports communities of all these different games, 
and why it's it's not a more common occurrence is because the stability of esports has always turned off people and trying to sustain a, a career and now it's just becoming a viable option because there is more sponsorships and there is more money coming into the scene with you know overwatch league or with the franchising and the nalcs so you have better opportunities to have a longer career and also with franchising uh, in the NALCS this allows for longer careers as contracts are extended for multiple years on end so you have this assured career you know within the whole scene and the big problem of becoming older and being an esports player is just the allocation of time becomes more difficult right because esports since it didn't have money back in the day well you had to have a part-time job as well too right and so now that's not becoming much of an issue and now you can go full-time as an esports player but you still have families you have kids you have love relationships and these just build and compile up over time to where they require more and more of your attention as time goes on and not only that but a very big problem within at least the league of legends community is that team houses are a big hindrance when you become older because you're always traveling and the hours are incredibly long so you can't spend time with your family within these team houses and you're forced to live with all these other players 24 7 so <laughs> it, it becomes very difficult to kind of um spend time with those that you care about outside of the game so all of these things are compiling on top of you know maybe yes a a hit to your reaction speed as you do get older i would assume 35 maybe 30 yeah sure i think that's very reasonable es estimate to make but i don't think it's the primary reason as to why these uh, esports players can't have long careers i think it's completely um just a crutch as far as the community is concerned to target the older players and say oh they they aren't cut for it just because of their reaction speed or or how they play the game and that they can't adapt no i just think it's simply because of the money that's involved in it the time that's involved in it and it's it's just a, a very big uh endeavorment in order to undertake as you get older and older and older